right. New quest. Museum expansion. Donate items to the museum. 18 out of 50. And with that, welcome everybody to Coral Island Episode 7. This is something you guys wanted to see. Don't forget to vote in the next poll if you want to keep it continuing. We have all or nothing. I need to craft a furnace. I need to ship 50 bronze quality vegetables and 25 bronze quality fruit. I need to visit Ling at the lab. Craft an extractor, meet the goddess at the lake temple, and donate 50 items to the museum. Well, we're not going to be very busy. What's in my mastery box? Ooh, do I have a point I can assign? Oh, yeah. All right. Chance for watered soil to stay watered the following day. Uh, chance to harvest better quality crops. And chance, well, let's go with the better quality first, and then we'll go with the quantity. Do I have anything else to spend? No. All right. Is there anything else here? No. Clearly I need to work a little bit harder. Town rank? Wow. Okay. Oh, look. These all gave me... Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. We're still an F on the museum and we now have the ocean, though. Oh, what's on the telly? Spoils of the land. Back to nature with Jenna. You can find sexy shrimp. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she did that again. Weather forecast. Tomorrow we are going to have a sunny day. And did I know what? Good day, everyone. Welcome to the Coral Talk Show. Here you go. You get to see guests all from all across the world or world and sneak a peek through their lives. I, Connie, will be your host. And today we welcome a very special guest. Oh, uh, yeah, we've seen that one as well. All oh, right. I know, I've forgotten I can't steer my mouse. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to change my perspective for my mouse. All right, let's check the mail. Sprout, I'm glad to hear the rumours about a new farmer in T Starlet Town are true. You're doing excellent work in the field. Give this fertiliser a try. Apply it to tilled soil. It'll increase your chances of harvesting higher quality crops, which will fetch more coins when it's time to sell. Jeff Smith from the Farmers Guild. Blaze, if you have any fresh spring vegetables, please send something my way. From Suki. Sure, Suki. Oh, gift any spring vegetable to Suki. I can do that. Um, maybe. If I... Crows be gone. Ah, oh, press J for details. I know. We're going to have to put in. Make, craft a makeshift scarecrow. Well, I'm pretty sure I can do that. C. Uh, crafting. Makeshift scarecrow. There we go. Press J for details. Oh. Excellent. I, I achieved a thing. Radio. Where can I put this? Alright, so what I need to do is clearly... Alright, I need to make sure I have a space to put my scarecrow down in. Okay. We're going to have to rearrange things. Uh, but look, if we're going to get crows eating our stuff, we're going to have to do it sooner rather than later. No worries. Let's go with our watering. And we're off. Our trees are starting to grow. I hope they don't overshadow our crops too much. So when we harvest in here, we're going to rearrange how this area looks. We're going to put in um, a gate. Oh, that's right. I knew I was going to be in trouble when I did this. Oh, that's fine. Um... Wow, I may have to eat some of my... Well, you know what? That's fine. We can eat some of our seeds. I do need to find a way of getting a, a kitchen, though. Kitchens are pretty important, aren't they? Why don't I grab out one of my... Um, my, my starter pack scare, scarecrows. One of my DLC scarecrows. And we'll put it in that gap right there. And we'll see how effective that one is. Yeah, we'll do that. Give me a minute. We'll reorganize our gardens to accommodate scarecrows soonish. Let's go find our scarecrow. Uh, farming chest? I did. I did put all my spring crops. 
Oh, that's a scarecrow too. I, I knew that. All right. And we want to go and see the, the guys. All right, let me just... Let me just... Oh my. Well, here's a mega scarecrow for you. I can put it right in the middle of my garden. <laughs> oh, and this one shows me where everything else is. All right. All right, so now I know I have... Let me just grab this scarecrow then. Um, do we pickaxe it to move it, right? Yes, we do. All right, I was going to just put it in here because that would cover it nicely. I know. Instead, what I'll do is I'll just run over here. We'll just put it, it in the middle of my pathway as well. Um, we are going to have to move things around, though. That's just going to have to happen. I might end up putting, maybe I should put my orchard down this side and we'll put all our farming over here. So once these crops are cleared, we'll um, we'll clear them out. That, that'll that work. All right, we've got this. I need to put down some more seeds. Let's just pop them in there. Well, why don't we put the fertilizer in there first? And then we'll put the seeds on. There we go. And then we'll water it. I know I was going to put a scarecrow in there, but we've I've changed my mind. Let's water here. I need a better watering can. I know, right? We're getting there, slowly but surely. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, spring vegetables, I have to wait for them to cook. I hope there's no time limit on, on her request. Go into crafting. Let's have a look and see if we can craft ourselves. Uh, I can craft myself one, <laughs> right. Um, let's get some of this stuff out of our backpack because we're going to need the space. So this will be my food and planting box. Put all of that in there. Let's go over here. We're going to plan, plant. We're going to put some crafting bits in here. That's that's generally a good sign. Um, you know, I'll just grab my fertilizer. We'll put that in there as well. We'll grab these down. There we go. Is that bronze ore? Um, right. Let's put the bronze ore in the other box. There we go. Okay time i think we head to town we have space in our boxes i think we will get some relics or something out of here i'm pretty sure i don't need to donate any more of these chests to uh to discover the cost in here pretty sure everything i'm not selling that yet yeah everything else is, has got a price we will um i know it looks like i'm gonna have to ship a blunt sword to work out what the price is do I have my net on me? Let's put those up where we can see them. We'll just switch these around. Probably should eat that now, actually. Let's just eat that. There we go. All right. I'm keeping an eye on the coconut trees. Oh, who are you? Hmm, yeah? Ah, the new resident. Uh, yeah. My ex told me about the grandchild of some farmer moving back in. That must be you. See you round. Okay. Hey, do you grow trees on your farm? I heard they don't die. Food for thought. They die if you chop them down. <laughs> you know, I'm glad to be back on Coral Island, but it's not quite the same without my dad and my little brother here. Well, maybe we could convince them to move? To move back in? Um, okay, we need to go to the lab and we need to go to... It's Sunday. I don't think the, the, the forge is open on a Sunday. Mm -mm -mm. I know. I just got to try to remember the way to the lab. It's up these stairs. Look at these guys.
Where'd it go? There was a caterpillar here. Okay, I need a better net for that one. Radio. I hear you, game. Just gonna grab myself a flower. Talk to this young man, young lady. I think I've talked to her already. That's why she's not speaking to me. Unless I had a gift in my hand. I hear you. Oh, here we go. Yes. Ah, Blaze. Welcome to the lab. I've been expecting you. <laughs> of course, I already know everything that happened while you were diving. You were able to activate the solar orb. I saw everything unfold from Kibbles' point of view. I am glad the ocean finally found someone worthy. More importantly, I owe you an explanation. Please, follow me into my secret lair where I can explain things to you. This game is awesome. Where to start? Well, many years ago, I planted super corals just like the one here, all around Coral Island. They've been specifically bred to survive rising ocean temperatures and hostile environments. The room we're in also holds uh, Murph ancient technologies that can remove those stubborn oil covered roots and heal sick coral. Huh. What you saw in the ocean, how should I put it? At its most basic, we take a little of what makes a super coral healthy and share it with all the other sick corals so they can get better. By combining human science, a little bit of magic and the uh, ancient technology, the ocean can recover. Magic, she said magic. It's a lot to take in. I'm sure you're st you still have questions, but that's all I can share for now. The rest you'll need to discover on your own. As promised, the diving suits are yours to keep. But mm, just one more thing before I let you go. I want you to know that although you've been deemed worthy, you aren't the only one out there that is worthy. Hopefully that didn't come across the wrong way, but I don't want you to feel like this is a fate you can't escape. There's nothing worse than that. Thanks again for stopping by, Blaze. Ooh, heal 20 coral sites now. We could do that. Suki's green smoothies. Any spring vegetable. Okay. All right. That's right. It's really worth actually doing friendships and things here now. Um, actually, it was worth it before. I'm just thinking there are some games where, like, it's not as exciting to make friends. Let's put it that way. All right, what else did we have? Let's have a look. Okay, so Socket and Pan has furniture that's way too expensive for me. But yeah. Oh, maybe I'm looking. No, this isn't what I was thinking. I need a bigger house to put cooking utensils in. Well, why didn't you say so? Looks like we might have to focus a little bit on expanding our farm. And making those tools that we need. So, oh, we've got to go see the goddess in the lake. The temple in the lake. Let's go do that while we're here. I nearly forgot again. I know, we can buy some cute outfits. Look at that. Uh, we'll talk to this young man here. There's simple craft projects you can make yourself to improve your farm. We sell some blueprints. Oh, do you? If you'd like to try one. You're a busy little bee, aren't you? Well, don't let me get in your way. Oh, right. Oh, it's not a young man, but that's Jocko. All right, got our bug net. Haha. -ha. A fly. I can't remember if we've donated that or not. Um, I guess we'll find out. Good dog. I know, they just came in from playing. 
And first thing my, my big dog does, he comes and sits on my feet, which is fine, except he's hot. <laughs> but he's so happy. All right, time to talk to the goddess. Huh? Blaze, at last, but my time is short. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> huh. I see. The altars, they hold the key to rejuvenate my strength and heal the land. I see. All right. Begin with an offering at this altar. In return, receive my blessing to traverse shrines. It will aid your journey. What? Huh? She must have run out of time. Temple offering. You can offer certain items to the temple to help heal Coral Island. Well, let's get going. Complete a temple offering. This looks like it's open. All right, essential resources. Stone, rock, grass, sap, maple, oak, and pine. Let's go and get that right now. We can, whoops, we can do that. I'm trying to use my mouse to turn if you wonder what that little dance of devil tree was about. Um, I think the hardest thing will be getting all the seeds. Let me just... That's okay. We'll just come around the back way and we'll pick up anything that we can on the way through. We've got a couple of spaces. And I forgot to go to the blacksmiths, but that's okay. So I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure they're closed on Sundays. Whoa, okay, that looks like a tiger beetle or something similar. Spooky, <laughs> spooky little beetle. And this is why I keep trying to change my orientation so I can see which direction I'm running in. <laughs> a leaf beetle. I don't know if we've got that one. Okay, I, I don't think the altars close at night. Just boot that. Oh, whoops. Sorry, beetle. Um, oh, right. I'm wondering how many of these are going to be needed for offerings. I'm sure we'll work it out. Here we go. Just grab that. And how many of those... I know, I really enjoy this game. I'm, I'm just, I like the way it's put together. I like its combination of bits and pieces. Let's, um, we're getting better quality forage now too. Oh, actually. I know, I forgot to check. So the thing we're checking is, if we go any further, we're just going to go over here. We're going to see if we need to ship anything. So I don't know how much that is. I do you know how much that is? I do you know how much that is? We're not shipping that. All right, and a bronze fly as well. I know. All right, everything else I know I can safely put back in here. So we've compost in. All right, I needed that. I needed that. Into the this one. Okay. I needed. Well, why don't we just grab one? Like, one wood. Put it there. We'll just get rid of that. So we needed one wood. We needed one stone. So I'm right-clicking just to pick up one. One sap. One, uh, one of those. One of these. One of these. 
And then I'm pretty sure I needed um, an, a pine seed. Let's see if I can get one. No, don't consume the moral, you monster. I want to shake the tree. All right. Oh, there's my pine cone. Radio, let's go and offload this. It's not that late, right? It's only eight o'clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and offload the, um, I got this. Offload the thing. <laughs> I can, that's it. I can sprint. Hey, wait, is the museum, the museum's not open this time of night, is it? We could, we could offload our donation while we're here. Don't you dare. We can. It's not closed at night. Okay, let's see what we've got. Donate an item. I've got nothing to donate. I can dump that leaf beetle in. Yes. Alright. I know that bug's like, I swear I saw something scary. Alright, so let's see what happens when we complete the first the first offering. I know, this is exciting. Alright, so essential resources. Oh, I need ten? Oh, whoa, okay. Ten and then five of each, man. Well, I guess, what's this? I need one of this. Ah, oh, wasabi, turnip, carrot, and daisy. Well, I've got those coming online. Oh, okay. So summer sasajan. Uh-huh. Fall. Okay, it looks like we've got a mixture of full crops and gatherables. Winter and then ocean loot. <gasps> Five sea salt. An eastern oyster, a blue mussel, green sea urchin, and a king scallop. I should be writing these down. I know, because otherwise I'll never ever remember. Oh, whoa, okay. All right. I need a new page. Okay, so I need sea salt. By five. Sea scallop. I think. No, Eastern Oyster. East Oi by one. Blue Mussel by one. King Scallop. King Skull. Now, why do I get the feeling this is not going to be as easy as it sounds, right? Green Sea Urchin by one. All right, then escape. We're going to ignore winter, fall, and summer. We are going to look at this one, though. So spring, I need uh, wasabi by one. Turnip by one. Carrot by one. Daisy by one. Because I already have the moral by one. I'll cross that one out. Alrighty, escape back. Central resources. All right, this is where I should have, like... Log by 10, stone by 10, um, fiber, is that fiber? Yeah, fiber by 10. It says zero out of five, but I mean, you know, if I can give all of it, I will. Sap by 10, um, maple, seed by five, acorn, by five and pine by five all right we'll finish that in the morning then so i think we'll head on home for bed now it's getting late oh maybe we can get rid of some of that icky black smoky stuff that's happening 
All right, my bad. We're going to ship that beetle too. Uh, I'm sprinting using the space bar. For those of you who are newer to the game than me and didn't know it was a thing. Oh my gosh, that was a thing. I know, I don't have a lot of backpack space because I very cleverly filled it with not quite everything I needed to keep. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Uh, I think we went down this way. So I'm going to maybe maybe rotate between what I need. Um, I know, I missed another bug, that's fine. See, a centipede. Wait, is that a night bug? It probably is, you know. I was too slow. All right, we're going to have to find it. Another one, another night. Oh. Because I don't think I've ever seen them during the day. All right, so we now we now have our list. Okay, we've got this. Let's get some sleep. She is pretty tired. All right, we made her to- oh, I forgot to put the beetle in. Never mind. Total of 24. It's Monday though, the blacksmith should be open now. Check the telly. How to be a farmer. How to be a farmer. My name is Jeff Smith and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you sprouts. Let me tell you about them. Now sprouts, by the way, that's what I call my grandchildren. <laughs> if you don't like it, send me a letter. Just think of all of you as my grandchildren too. Anyway, back to business. You don't need a refrigerator for produce. What you need is a nice, sturdy chest. Build a chest. It'll keep your produce fresh all year round. And don't forget a scarecrow. It'll protect your crops from, well, crows. Tomorrow's weather. Welcome to WBC, your main weather-related news source. Tomorrow's forecast is sunny and clear. Wear sunscreen. Animal channel. Mookbang with Mook. Ooh, hello fellow mooks, welcome to Mookbang. Here, mook eat everything, like high-grade grass from Pokyo and Osaka moo. Moo, it's heavy, I need moo assistant. Today moo will eat this grass from an island south of Pokyo. Mook say it was their last stock in the world. Farmer cultivating it, gone. Mook will judge if it was a shame or not, disappear. Moonch, moonch, moonch. Moo, mook tastes soil and freshness. Mook approves, time to eat more. Moo. Moonch, moonch. Moo, something is weird. Mook did not taste any green in this. What could it be, Mooks? Out of season grass. Farmers, no growing. Something out of season. You destroy it, okay? Moo. Mook, no want to eat again. Away, Moo. That was my favorite bowl. What a waste, Moo. This is the end for today. Next week, Mook will review poke your hay with boko chicken. See you next week, Mooks. That was kind of strange. However... If you can't grow out of season grass, maybe you can't grow out of season crops. Let's pop that away. All right, now to fix up my mistake from yesterday. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, I did not need that many. Okay, now I have ten of those. Ten of those. Ten of those. Ten of those. I know, if I'd known I was going to be cutting down things to get to things.
And if we don't need to have all of this because we've got the 10 other stuff, what we'll do is we'll plant them. All right. I need to kind of maybe just check my inventory. So I have three of those. I have three of those. I need some oak seeds. So I need two more pine seeds. Let's just grab those if we can. One, two, all right. Now we need two more. Okay, we need oak seeds, right? So it's two, three, and a maple seed. That was one. So the maples are orange. There we are. That's all the maple seeds we need. Back this way. All right. We must be getting close to our oak seed requisite. I need one more. There it is. Okay. Fine. Now let's go. I know because my backpack's probably full again. <laughs> How did I guess? What was that? All right, I can't investigate that just yet because um, it sounded like a violin almost, like someone was practicing. All right, so I can't gather anything yet. We're going to have to come back and do some gathering. Hey, who's this lying in the grass? Raj, vegetables, as in raw vegetables? None for me, thanks. I'm not big on vegetables. Fruit, on the other hand. Now, now, it doesn't mean I don't eat my vegetables, because I do. I do, seriously. I just don't do it for fun, or more than have more than the recommended amount. We're open every day, weather permitting, that is. He looks way too comfortable there, doesn't he? I know I should stop and talk to all these people, but I want to go and see what happens when I fill the temple. Oh, so looking forward to filling Sam's produce as well. That's going to be fun. I know, maybe a bit grindy, but fun. Oh, whoa. Oh, so fun running into you here. Hi, Millie. It's nice to see you. Hey, that's sweet. Likewise, of course. Anyway, I'm trying something out. So there's this old legend about a goddess who lives in the water on Coral Island. I heard it from my dad. Uh, water, like the ocean. No, no, not the ocean. I asked him that exact question. It's the lake, I think. Don't tell anyone, but I've been throwing flowers around this lake since, gosh, yeah, I've done it up in a bunch of different spots. Still nothing. I know it's silly, but all fairy tales are kind of silly, right? Anyway, I thought I'd throw some flowers in next time. Um, what did you throw in before? Well, I don't know if it would actually work, and I don't want to waste flowers. I tested the idea by throwing in some grass. I thought it might work, but it didn't. But don't worry, I started using flowers today. Maybe that's what it takes to summon the goddess. What do you think? I'm not sure. I hope I don't make the goddess mad by giving her grass. Uh, you should be fine. <laughs> I don't know, given I'm about to give her ten grass. Hey, how you doing? Inhale, exhale. I'm trying to relax a little. The salon is closed today, my dear. Erica is busy volunteering at the school. Okay, that's okay. Just relax, you'll be okay. All good. I know, right? We are getting there. Let's see how far we go with this. Can I give more than just the five items is the question. Let's find out. I can't give more than just the five items. Okay, but that's fine. I unlocked a recycling machine. Okay. Whoa, we did it. We did one. <gasps> Wait, there's another one. I know. Does this help her at all? I, I'm still seeing muck rising from the water. Pretty sad. 
Come on, turn around. You did it. Yep. Drink this to receive my blessing. Now you can use my shrines and travel freely between them. Whoa. Uh, okay. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Why is it? The goddess's blessing unlocks ability to use teleport shrines. Why is it everything from these people? What's that? Oh wow. Okay, that's I see. Wait, we have a catch altar. Oh my gosh, we have to go fishing. So good. All right. Freshwater fish. We need I know I'm, I've I've got a page now. I'm going to hopefully not lose this one. A catfish. Tilapia and rainbow fish. Tilapia. Now this is for fresh water, right? Tilapia and rainbow. Yep. Yeah. Silver arowana. Silver arowana. And a silver star koi. I wonder if I get that out of the lake. Silver star koi. I'll just put the silver star in brackets so I don't think it's its name. Alright, saltwater fish. Okay, salt. I know, we need a pink snapper. We need a lionfish. We need an Asian sheep's head fish. Looks like some kind of wrasse. We need a yellowfin tuna. And we need a silver star. I'm going to say sil stir sardine. So we need to get better at our fishing so we can get high quality, right? Rare fish. Oh no. Okay, in the rare fish altar, we require a sturgeon. I wonder if that's a winter fish in this game. Sturgeon. A gator gar. An arapaima. A giant sea bass. I need a bigger backpack. And a yellow moray eel. Not because the fish are big, but because of the number of fish that we're going to catch when we do this. Alright. Next we need... Oh, insects. Day, they are day and night insects. There you go. Okay. Day in. We need a pipe vine. Swallow tail. A tiger see I'm pretty sure those those really fast ones are tiger beetles a yucca moth we need a better bug net an Assam silk moth oh, I've caught one of those before all oh, right and a monarch caterpillar monarch cat okay so for night insects Night in. Ha! Told you, centipede. Alright, so for night insects, we need insects, we need fireflies. Uh, Cecropia, see, I can catch that one. Cecropia cat. A centipede. A rove beetle. An atlas moth. Okay, some of these are going to be harder to catch than others. No, really. Oh, wow, well, we have an ocean critters box. Okay, an ocean crit box. Uh, oh, I've caught one of those before too. A cannonball jellyfish. So, cannonball jayfish. 
a hermit crab. Awesome. A, really? They exist. A sexy shrimp. Okay. A sunflower sea star. And a pom pom crab, because it looks like it's got pom poms on its claws. How gorgeous is that? All right. And it unlocks a dig site. And this one's not open yet. No. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh look. And. Ha. Huh. Well, I want to get back to the farm toot suite. Can I do that? I can. Wow. I get torn apart in a flurry of petals. All right. I want to put down my um my seeds. And I want to water everything. I know things are going to change as we get, um, as we harvest. So what I'll do is I might move these crops here. Um, well, I'll either move them away from the path or I'll, yeah, I'll move them one away from the path and I can put that there and that'll cover. Or what I can do is I can move this and work out where it covers and that'll be my field over here and then we can turn this entire area here oh my spring vegetables yes so we can move this entire field here and we can turn it into a um like a forest um and this will be where i can harvest my trees maybe if i'm smart what i'll do is i'll leave is we'll put um these paths in between them so that we can walk between them and just harvest the uh, harvest the seeds. I'm not sure if we're going to need that many seeds though. So eventually, I might just block them together and cut them all down as in one big go as well. I don't know. I've got to think about exactly what I want to do. But we might turn it. We'll turn it into a tree lot to start with, um, to enable us to build. The, the amount of timber we're going to need to build all the things we need so that that'll be a start so what i'll do is i'll start by turning where those cauliflowers were i'll start by turning that into um into dirt and this little thing on the end i might do that as well So to turn it into dirt, I think I've got to hit it with my pickaxe. Yep, there we go. So we'll... And then we'll grab the seeds that we didn't use. So I've got pine, pine cones here. So we'll put them up there. And acorns. Um, I'm going to put these in. So we're going to put pine trees in here. Oh, acorns in here right I'll get there okay and then gradually we'll just turn this this little area into acorns and then I'll have a gate here and it'll come through to there so once I've got to work out how to get rid of that and we'll turn this little area into into a pine forest there we go all right we've got this so I all right let's put the grass away so now I can move some of my other scarecrows and I'll, I'll think about that and where I want to clear things as we go. So that can go and that can go. Now I have a recycling machine. Um, I don't know what to do with that. It's for recycling, so... I guess I'm going to just... There's the fence, there's the tree line, there's... This will be my, where my farms are though. Can I put it down over here? Now, I don't want to block myself off, do I? Why don't I put my recycling machine here? Now, how does that work? Produces scrap using trash. Okay. So this is trash. I know. I've got to work it out. So I'm going to put 20 trash in there. 
and then we'll put that away. All right, so I have a couple of things we need to do now. Um, we need to go see the blacksmiths because we've got enough money to do this. And we need to go and talk to, uh, what's her face? I know, I'll get there, 16.40 in the day too. Let's go talk to the blacksmiths first. They might close at five, I may have missed them, but we'll find out. We'll see. <clears throat> Blacksmith. I need to process a geode or coffer if I may. Trash. Nice. Stone hand axe, nice. Silver kelp. Ancient map. Terracotta soldier. And glass. Alright. Um I'm not giving that man trash. <laughs> um Okay, no no. Can I just talk to him? Hi. 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 Raph, my work keeps me so busy. I sometimes wish... No, no more wishing. Want something? You work for it. Have you heard the legends about magic on this island? Bunch of silly hand-waving and mumbling, if you ask me. Boy, you in for a surprise. Hopefully I'm wrong, because that would be really cool. Alright, let's see if your brother or... Whoever is here. He's not... I know, I've not gone upstairs to see to check it out. Ooh, where are we going now? We're going to the museum because I've got some artifacts that need donating. Let me just kick that over. I want a bit of rubbish between friends. Let's talk to Mark. Don't like fishing. I also don't like being interrupted. Hi! Those rotten roots on the beach are nasty. I tried getting rid of them over there. Cutting them up doesn't work. They come back again. I think this solution might be down the ocean bed. I'll check it out for you. I know, he's look, he's getting more talkative, right? More talkative is good. Uh, we forgot we need to go and talk to the museum. Uh, which actually was round the other way, now that I think about it. This will do. Alright, so we need night bugs and we need day bugs. And we need all the bugs. All the bugs. Let me just empty this trash can. We're going to recycle everything we can. I'm not sure if these guys are doing much recycling. We'll find out. Let's donate that and that and that. Oh my gosh, a reward? Some glass. Thank you so much. Wow, okay. I know, look, 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 look. It's on its own little stand. We are so going to have to explore that. The question is, is do we give the goddess her collection pieces first or the museum? Because we have to save the island either way and we need both things do it. I need a better fish. Can I find out where that is? Is someone practicing? This will be closed. Though. Oh no, it's open. Wow. Alright, but the noisemaker isn't inside here, right? So, where are they? Oh, hello. Have you had your flu vaccine yet? Uh, no. I recommend getting it every year, even if the strain changes. <clears throat> At least you'll have some protection. I average around four-ish hours a day at work. I usually work from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. seeing patients, reviewing medical histories, or doing inventory. Charles runs the reception most of the time. That has got to be the most relaxed doctoring schedule I have ever heard of. Whoops. Let's grab that. You know, I haven't seen a collection that requires flowers yet. 
I wonder if there is one. I bet it requires multiples, so we better start maybe storing 10 of each. What do you think? Thinking that might be our... Ah, there's the other little option. All right, we got this. I missed both of them, trying to get the, the hard one. What I'm trying to get is this. There we go. Tulip. How much space is in my backpack? Five more. We got this. So the Cecropia caterpillar, which is one of those that ran away, I think the other one may have been the monarch, um, is a night bug. But the monarch is a day bug, so maybe it wasn't. Alright, well we've got plenty of energy. Let's um let's just take out as much of these as we can. Maybe I'll get some more seeds. You know what, we do need more stone too. We need a thousand stone and 600, 700 timber. But I don't think that rock is going anywhere. Oh man, I'm going to need more energy, aren't I? That's right, let's finish off this part of the day. done all right it's getting late all right then we'll head for home yeah so definitely we might put trees in here and then we'll head on out and um and put our fields down this other side which means our animals are going to be a little bit further away from us i forgot to check my tv too how to be a farmer okay we've seen that one Uh, weather forecast was sunny, wasn't it? We're sunscreen. Oh, maybe we did check this this morning. Oh, yeah, we did. We are not watching Mookbang again. Rightio, <laughs> go to bed. Guys, on that note, I'm going to binge you adieu. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Let's see how we went. 100 for the leaf beetle. That's pretty impressive. All right, I'll check you later.